So we'll read the Heart Sutra, please. The Bodhisattva. El bodhisattva de la compasión que moraba en la profunda experiencia de la sabiduría vio la realidad de los cinco estados, de propio que era fácil, altamente. Aquí la forma es vacío y el vacío es poético. El vacío no se diferencia de la forma, la forma no se diferencia de la forma. So, uh, welcome to the Day of the Dead. Bienvenidos al Día de los Muertos. Okay. So, uh, we've been doing six days of mindfulness. Hemos estado haciendo seis días de mindfulness. And you might say, well, John, but why am I looking for warm fuzzies in my stomach? You know, I mean, well, it, one is an object of mindfulness, so that's fine. 
Uno es un objeto de mindfulness y eso está bien. But there's uh, more profound states of consciousness. Pero hay estados más profundos de conciencia. And they're related with your nerve channels. Y están relacionados con tus eh, canales de nervios. Okay, so for example, if you've done retreats in previous years, we did a lot of scanning from our crown to our feet. Si has hecho retiros en años anteriores, hemos hecho mucho escaneo de la columna de los pies. You know, and so we try to sort of wake up our nervous system. Y entonces estamos tratando de despertar nuestros de, Okay, so it's like if you were combing your hair, you're combing your nervous system with those scanning. Okay, now uh, those are previous retreats. So in this one, uh, we, we developed uh, first mindfulness in the chest. Then we moved it to our, our abdomen. Okay, and I, 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 I explained to you that, okay, just mindfulness of the movement of the abdomen is fine. Okay, but if you get quite good focus, you'll start to experience, you know, the feelings inside of the abdomen. Pero si logras tener buen hipopis, vas a empezar a notar las sensaciones dentro del abdomen. Ok, and that's nerve energy. Y esa es la energía de los nervios. And nerve energy and consciousness are synonymous. Y la energía de los nervios y la conciencia son sinónimos. Now, uh, actually, in one way, I mean, when we're very busy and extroverted. Eh, de cierto modo, casi siempre estamos muy ocupados en nuestro partido. You know, then our, our mind is always out there and our body is functioning, but we're not very conscious. Of it. Nuestra mente siempre está allá afuera y nuestro cuerpo está funcionando, pero no estamos muy conscientes de ello. You know, and, and although you know, it, it, it totally supports us, we're not conscious. Y a pesar de que nos apoya totalmente, no somos conscientes. Now, when we do mindfulness meditation, for example, in the abdomen. Cuando hacemos meditación de mindfulness, por ejemplo, you're taking your mind and your your energy and you're making them closer okay and then of course you become more conscious of what's going on in your body okay so for you know general practice mindfulness of your breathing or mindfulness of the sensations is more than adequate entonces, práctica general, mindfulness de tu este, respiración y de tus sensaciones es totalmente adecuado. Okay. But in the more profound Buddhist teachings, Pero en las enseñanzas budistas más profundas, uh, you can actually do, do something, sí. let's see, more, let's see, more subtle. Pero puedes hacer algo más sutil. Okay. So, uh, you know, we've had six days of uh, sensation, well, folk, uh, mindfulness and then sensation. Hemos tenido seis días de mindfulness en las sensaciones. Okay. Uh, and then last night I introduced that you should try to sort of like you're wearing uh, warm underwear. Y anoche les decía, les tengo introducir la sensación de que tuvieras unos shorts como calientitos. Okay, uh, and so then you try to make the, your, your thighs, your buttocks, your back of your back, and your stomach all warm. So, now, we, we, the, the, the reason why we get, or look for, sort of, we, we try to rest in warm fuzzies in your stomach. Y la razón por la que estamos tratando de permanecer, descansar en el calientito este, agustín en, en la panza. Okay, is it you're waking up the nervous system in that area? Es que está despertando tu sistema nervioso en esa área. Okay, and so that, that the, 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 let's say, of the various chakras in your body. Y entonces de los varios chakras en tu cuerpo. I mean, there's a crown with 32 petals. En la coronilla hay 32 pétalos. The throat with 16. En la garganta 16. Heart with 8. El corazón 8. Uh, en el navel 64. Y en el abdomen este 64. Okay, and that's because it deals with digestion and the movement of the intestine and uh, all, of, all of those details. Okay, so when that becomes more awake, esto se okay, then you can start, uh, let's say, 
drawing your consciousness towards you could say the root of all that nerve energy puedes traer tu conciencia digamos a la raíz de toda esa energía it's called your central channel que se llama el canal central no i mean it could be your spinal column or they, they often say it's just in front of it it's really it's the same i wouldn't be too concerned about that este se dice también tu columna vertebral está un poquito adelante de la columna vertebral no me preocuparía mucho de eso but for the, the if if you're developing some sensitivity Pero si estamos desarrollando algo de sensibilidad, then somewhere in front of the spine and at the navel or a little below that there will be a stronger sensation en algún lugar, este, frente de la columna vertebral, a la altura del mismo, por ahí en medio, tiene que haber una sensación. So we just had six days of developing mindfulness, so there should be some conscious energy that we're este, we conscious energy. Llevamos seis días desarrollando la mindfulness ahí, de manera que se sentía tener algo de, de sensación en esta zona. And then if you, if, you know, say in the next few days, we're going to deal more specifically with that point. En los siguientes días vamos a lidiar más específicamente con esos, esos puntos. And so if you can find it and then rest inside of it. Y entonces, si lo puedes encontrar y descansar en el centro de ello. And you try to make it, they say, more focused, for example, visualizing it being hot like a, a, a carbon that's on fire or something. Y si lo puedes hacer más este, enfocado, por ejemplo, imaginar que es un carboncito que está encendido o algo así. Okay, that so you're 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 again you're you're waking up that nerve much more strongly. Okay, and then if you can let's say with your meditation you can rest in that. More finer levels of consciousness arise. Fino. Fino okay. And you can have more profound spiritual experiences. Uh, Geshe Rapton explained to me. Geshe Rapton me explicaba. He said that if you can actually find that and go inside of that, uh, you'll find there's just a natural sense of peace. Vas a encontrar que hay una sensación natural de paz. And very few thoughts. Y muy pocos pensamientos. That's when you are inside the central channel. Es cuando te encuentras dentro del canal central. And with even more, more profound meditate, like fo focus, mindfulness. Y con un mindfulness todavía más enfocado. Okay, then, then more profound levels of consciousness arise. Entonces, eh, niveles de conciencia más profundo empiezan a surgir. And then you could uh, experience, you know, your, what's called your Buddha nature, your clear light consciousness. Y puedes experimentar tu naturaleza búdica, tu, tu luz clara de conciencia. Or, you know, I mean, we could say your soul. Now, that's, that's a state of consciousness without form. Now, uh, we will, we, we do imaginations like that. No tenemos imaginaciones para con esto. To sort of prepare ourselves for the actual experience. Para que nos vayan preparando de la experiencia real. Okay, so, so that you will not, you, you do not actually attain the conscious experiences until you are inside the central channel. Okay, and it's called opening your central channel. Now you can either do it in the abdomen or at the heart. Uh, Nagarjuna, the great yogi in, 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 from India, says that he uses the heart chakra. But because the abdomen has so many pebbles or so many nerves, it's much easier there. Pero ya que el abdomen tiene tantos nervios, tantos, tantos pétalos, es más fácil. So, now you, you, so you, you, you just have breathing. Entonces, ahora tienes solamente la respiración. And as you gain focus, you started to experience sensations. Y conforme logras enfoque, empiezas a tener experiencia este, de sensaciones. Okay, and then uh, you try to make it more full so that all of your stomach is full of conscious energy. Y tratas de hacerlo más completo, de tal forma que todo tu estómago está lleno de esa experiencia consciente. 
Okay. And th then you discover the sort of the sort of central point. Luego el descubre se encuentra este es el punto central. Okay, and then, then we're going to try to work well, that's what we're working towards. Y ahí es un tarde donde nos estamos moviendo. For this afternoon tomorrow. Para esta tarde y mañana. Okay, but uh, now in doing this, al hacer esto, there's going to be things that get in the way. Van a haber cosas que se estorban. You know, your emotions. Tus emociones. Maybe some uh, some emotions that are sort of being trapped in your abdomen. Quizá algunas emociones están en la the other thing is, is that you're, you know, you're waking up that part of your body, which you normally never did. You're always out there in the world. And so suddenly you find you've got all this energy and you can't even sleep at night. So those are all the things that get in the way of, of getting more in touch with your or your central channel. Now, I'm going to introduce some physical exercises. Uh, we're going to do them very slowly. And uh, it's sort of like, you know, it depends. Each, each one of you is totally different. And you're going to have your own ideas and projections and things which you're going to sort of Come on. You know, and so uh, just be aware that, that you, you know, those are things you need to go through to have a more deeper yoga experience. Yoga. 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 Okay. Now, why? Well, I mean, we can just you know, be a good practitioner and we have a good heart. That's wonderful. But if you would like to have a more profound experience of your consciousness, like going back to your soul, Okay, I mean, and these, this is the this is the, the the technique that's presented in Buddhism. And the difference is the difference is between like a massage and acupuncture. So with good mindfulness meditation, it's like you 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 massage your energy and your attitude. Okay, and you can start to have some very good experiences. No, experiences of consciousness. Which your consciousness rides, or which your, your alert mind rides on. Okay, but it still is like a massage. Now, if you get acupuncture, you know, they find a particular nerve channel, for example, in your arm. Okay, and by stimulating that with a needle, it'll actually maybe affect your, your liver. <laughs> Okay, so 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 the acupuncture, it's it's it, like both a massage and acupuncture heal you, but the acupuncture is so much more direct. Okay, so that so that what we're doing is we're doing acu, so to speak, acupuncture with our nervous system. Okay, now, uh, so the uh, so we 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 had the hot underwear on. That's just as a wake up thighs, buttocks, abdomen. Okay, now I, I introduced before you have five major energies in your body. Now, the two of them are the only ones we really need to be more of. We, we, we want to focus on. Uh, one's the upward moving energy, which helps us swallow and breathe. 
la una es la energía que se mueve hacia arriba, que nos ayuda a tragar y a respirar. And then the lower one is it's with digestion and defecation. Y la de movimiento hacia abajo tiene que ver con la digestión y con la defecación. Now those are major energies. Estas dos son super grandes energías. Uh, especially the digestion and the defecation. Especialmente la de la digestión y la defecación. I mean, those are energies that are very powerful because they help your intestines move and all those things. Yeah, it's energy. So, so, what, so, okay, so you have a nervous system in your body. Okay, that's like a roadway. Es como un, una carretera. Okay. Now, in that then runs these energies. Y en ellas eh, van pasando estas energías. So you could just say general consciousness runs through all of it. Entonces puedes decir que la conciencia general recorre todo eso. But in, if we're specific, then there's the upward moving energy running on those roadways, the downward moving energy running on those roadways. Pero si son específicos, está la energía que se mueve hacia arriba en la parte superior, que por, por esas vías, la energía de movimiento hacia abajo corre por las vías a otras. So I, I mean, understand is your nervous system. You know, it's not like some sort of something sort of like a you know. It's the nervous system and the energy within that. Okay, so now we're going to start to pull on those two energies. Into our abdomen. So this now we're getting towards acupuncture. Ahora lo que vamos a estar haciendo va a ser justo en la acupuntura. Before it was just massaging, now we're acupuncture. Antes de la acupuntura, ya estamos en la acupuntura. Okay, now, uh, so in, in these meditations, we have the bell every five minutes. Entonces, en estas meditaciones, tenemos la campana cada cinco minutos. I do not want you to over-exercise the things I'm going to talk about. No quiero que me exageren y sobre ejerciten lo que les voy a decir. Because it'll make problems. Porque va a causar problemas. You know, I mean, any time that any of you are too intense with your meditation, you're going to make a problem. Cada vez que cada uno de ustedes se pase demasiado intenso con su meditación, va a crear un problema. So let's say I identify a point I want you to meditate on. Entonces, digamos, les digo que identifiquen un punto en donde quiero que, que mediten. And then with your attention and your, your now focused energy from the meditation, y entonces ahora con tu atención y ahora con tu energía enfocada por tus meditaciones. Sort of empiezas a golpear ahí. Lo siento, ahí vas a crear problemas. So what I want you to do. Entonces lo que quiero que hagas. Is touch it lightly. Tocarlo lentamente. Okay. So what I want you to do. Entonces lo que quiero que hagas. Touch it lightly. Es que lo toques suavemente. You know, and then like. Just touch it lightly. Let's go. Yes, I love you. Es que lo toques suavemente. Con besitos. No, I'm serious because the thing is, is that that way you can become conscious of it. And then we can start you know, utilizing it in our acupuncture. Okay, now, in, for example, there, there's, okay, your pelvic floor. Entonces ahora, por ejemplo, el piso pélvico. Okay, so, okay, you have this, you have a wonderfully mindful mind right now, don't you? Entonces tienen una mente muy mindful ahora, ¿verdad? Okay, so go to your anus. Vaya en su alma. Okay, and I mean, you know, contract your anus a little bit, yeah. Contraiga su anito un poquito, ¿sí? But that's not where you want to be. Pero ahí no es donde quieres estar. I just want you to be conscious of that part of your body. Quiero que estés consciente de esa parte de tu cuerpo. Now slide along the pelvic floor up to your genitals. Okay, and just maybe for a man, he feels his testicles and such. For a woman, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> your, your labios. <laughs> Thank God I got makeup on. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Anyway, no, so, but the point, but that's also not where you want to be. Pero ahí tampoco es donde quieres estar. Between the two, there's sort of a, a space, and that's the, that's the point of the pelvic floor. Entre estos dos hay un espacio, y este es el punto en este zona del piso pelvico. Now, maybe if you've done lots of yoga, you can move to that, and you can feel it. There's like, pull up a little bit on that part. Este, si has hecho yoga, quizá puedas moverte, ir hacia ahí, este, presionar un poco ahí. 
Now, it's no different than, for example, like I told with nine, nine rounds of breathing. You could use your finger. But you can also, just with concentration, shift right nostril, left nostril, and all of that. That's the power of consciousness. Okay, so now you move your conscious down to your pelvic floor. It's not your anus, it's not your genitals. No, maybe at the beginning you don't have that, that much specific, but try you're trying to be sort of in the in between the two. Now I would recommend that you don't you you sit quite well because you're now you're touching nerves and you don't want to be like sitting in a bad posture, you want to be in good posture. So if you're, if you're leaning back, put a cushion behind you so that your spine is more vertical. Well, I mean, it doesn't mean vertical, but it's more straight. You don't want it bent. You want it straight. Okay, if you're sitting in a chair, that's good. You see a nice vertical. No, we're not extreme about it, but you just want to be vertical. No, no estamos siendo extremo, extremos al respecto, pero sí están bien entendidos. O si están en Sarvasana, la lying posture. Si están en Sarvasana, si están en Sarvasana, si están en Sarvasana, no están postura acostado. I can never get that word right, sorry. <laughs> anyway, but that's good also because your spine's all, you're all in line. Esa, esa es una buena postura también porque tu espalda está bien en línea, alineada. Okay. So like I explained with the nine breathing and just your concentration. Entonces, así como les explicaba con las nueve ruedas de respiración, tu concentración. You move down to the pelvic floor. Te mueves a tu piso pélvico. Now, if you're sensitive enough, you don't even have to move any muscle. You can just feel something and you can feel its energy. And, and you know, it, it can be sort of like a reasonably strong sensation, not hard sensation, but strong. Okay. Uh, now, if, if nothing, if, if what you could do, if you're not getting too much, then you just, you contract that a little bit and you, you'll learn those muscles. Okay. Now, this is where I'm talking about, you don't keep pushing at that point. That would be overstimulation. So we have the bell every five minutes. So the main meditation is your abdomen, your mindfulness of sensations in abdomen. Okay. And when the bell goes, y cuando suena la campana, you can say, say one little part of your consciousness goes down to that pelvic floor and just either touches it, which then stimulates it. You just by touching it, yeah. Or if you need to, then you just contract it maybe three, four times. That's all. Okay. And, and so, so, I mean, if there's some sensation, just stay there maybe 20, 30 seconds. Si hay algo de sensación, entonces te quedas ahí 20, 30 segundos. And then come back up to the abdomen. Y luego regresas al abdomen. Okay. And then the next four minutes, you're there. Y los cuatro siguientes minutos, ahí te quedas. Ahí okay. Minutos. And then again, when the bell goes, you go down. Just luego, touch that point and then come back up. Y luego suena la campana otra vez. Salta ese punto, tocas esa, esa zona de piso pélvico y unos segundos, unos segundos, regresas. Now, each one of you are a little different. Uh, and so you could sort of, you know, when you touch it, suddenly there's sort of like, I mean, there's a big electric shock. And you go, ah. <laughs> well, chances are that'll be because of suppression. Y lo más probable es que eso sea por 
por supresión. You know, that you, you've, not, you've been suppressing that part of your body. You just sort of like, oh, that doesn't exist. You know, I mean, whatever. It's your sexual feelings, so to speak, but it's not actually sexual. But because you're close, you're, get, you, you're, you're just not familiar, so you've, you're, your mind overreacts. Entonces, este, tú, es, 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 es porque lo has estado suprimiendo. Entonces, normalmente, este, no vamos a esa zona y de repente tu mind te va a esa zona y entonces como que tiene la estimulación, tu mente reacciona porque está como, como que lo relaciona con lo sexual, no es sexual, pero se relaciona con eso. So, so when you're first doing, first doing this, entonces, cuando al principio estás haciendo esto, you, your mind could go a bit more towards your genitals or a bit more towards your anus. Tu mente puede ir un poquito más hacia tus genitales o hacia tu marco. And that's not where you want to go, but it, it, it might happen. So just learn how to be peaceful with your, your feelings. Este, y quizá, ahí se va tu mente, no es donde queremos ir, pero a veces sucede. Ya más estante en paz con tus sensaciones. No, I'm just saying that because some of you might have a strong reaction. So then you need to say, okay, obviously I'm not let myself be familiar with that part of my, my energy. So now I've got to learn how to be familiar with it, comfortable with it. Entonces, eh, les digo esto porque algunos de ustedes a lo mejor cuando estemos haciendo esto tienen alguna sensación y, este, y tienen que entender que, bueno, no, no estoy familiarizado con, este, con esta energía en mi cuerpo y entonces de lo que se trata es de empezarnos a familiarizar con esta energía. But it's quite possible nothing's going to happen and you're quite comfortable and you just touch it and you go, oh, well, that's okay. You feel good. Ooh. <laughs> it, it is just energy. Don't associate it with some sort of uh, emotion and feeling. Es solamente energía, no lo asocies con otra emoción o sensación. So, so that like if my palm of my hand is my pelvic floor. Entonces, la palma de mi mano es mi piso pélvico. Your consciousness comes out and touches that point or you contract it a little bit. Tu conciencia baja y toca ese punto, lo contraes un poquito. No more than like 10 seconds every five minutes. No más de tres, de diez segundos cada cinco minutos. And then you come back up to your navel and maybe there's, you're going to find like, it's like a, Like, like some of the, that energy comes up. And that's like an acupuncture point to increase the energy in your abdomen. So that's the first, uh, first session of meditation is that. Okay, and um, don't, 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 let's not exaggerate it. You're just, you're just working with energy in your body maybe you never touched before. Okay, and now if you find you're uncomfortable for whatever emotional reason, just move to your natural breathing and just try to forget about that. Simplemente mueve tu respiración natural y olvídate de eso. Okay. So, with that note then, uh, we have the five points. Entonces, con esto, eh, ya repasamos los cinco puntos. Body comfortable. Tu cuerpo cómodo. Uh, good motivation. Una buena motivación. Body hollow. Tu cuerpo hueco. Uh, nine rounds of breathing. Nueve rondas de respiración. And then the meditation. Y luego la meditación. And all we're adding is that every five minutes you touch your pelvic floor and feel it and then come back up to your abdomen. Y lo que hemos agregado es que cada cinco minutos nos movemos en piso pélvico, hacemos un contacto y regresamos a nuestro abdomen.
Okay, so we'll do, uh, for those who want to, we will do walking meditation. If you wish to continue this to meditate, please do so.
Stand still and breathe. Nos paramos quietos y respiramos. Well, for those of you that are standing, Para los que están parados, uh, please face towards the middle. Just remember, look at me. Vean hacia el centro. Veanme a mí. Because you've been generating quite a bit of physical energy, you want to bounce on your heels and shake your hands. Han estado con mucha energía física, así que este, brinquen y guarden tus manos. And then if your hands. For the next uh, 15 minutes of meditation, Por los 15 de just uh, focus on wearing um, the warm underwear and your abdomen. Uh, don't don't focus. Don't don't reflect on the pelvic floor anymore.
Bring your meditation to a conclusion. Okay, so remember that the main thing we're doing is the warm fuzzies in our abdomen. Okay, because that's waking up the nervous system. Or you could say it that you're putting your consciousness with more focus into all of those nerve channels. Now remember all the nerve channels, there, there are three problems to them. Okay, they're blocked. They're, they're crooked. Or they're dry. Okay, so that, that would just mean is it like some part of your, your, your abdomen area that the nerves could be blocked, they don't function so well. Or that, for example, maybe due to a, an accident, a surgery or something, they could be, uh, we'll see. Okay, and then finally they could be dry, which we, we just I discussed the other day. Yeah, but maybe dry meaning is is that they that the, the, the nerve energy doesn't flow smoothly through them. Now that's why yoga and tai chi and qigong are so beneficial. Uh, and especially yoga is, well, I think all three uh, work very well with, you might say, greasing, putting, putting oil into the nervous system. Okay, and that means is that then they work better. Okay, anyway, so so the main objective of what we're doing is is the uh, energizing of the abdomen area with, with consciousness. So we're more, we have more conscious energy. Okay, that then will allow us to have uh, to be able to recognize where the central channel is, which these branch off of all these nerves. Okay, and now these exercises with the pelvic floor and with the, with the diaphragm. Y luego estos ejercicios con el piso pélvico y el diafragma. Es para incrementar la cantidad de energía que estamos este, depositando en esta área. So I think in the in the book of Lama Yeshi. Yo creo que en el libro de Lama Yeshi. He talks about sort of pulling on the energy from the pelvic floor like a small wind. Este está diciendo de inhalar esta energía del piso pélvico como un suave viento. Uh, that blows on a coal that's in, the, in your abdomen. Que sopla como un carboncito que hay en el abdomen. You know, it makes it start to have 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 more 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 fire, more heat. So you can see that that's the, the objective of those two exercises is is merely to increase. It's not it's not they're not like the main the main point. Okay, so after our our, our break at eleven o'clock. Uh, at 11.30, I'll introduce the diaphragm. Okay, so first off, uh, any questions, commentaries, or issues? Sí. Es, ¿Cómo se puede hacer una si si tuve sensaciones en el piso pélvico eh, me pasó o sea me pasó algo no sé si sea muy grande o no al, al tener las sensaciones en el piso pélvico eh, poquito de tiempo después algunos tiempos de, después sentí como pues fue un elevador 
como si se subiera. Y llegó hasta la zona de mi corazón. Eh, la sensación fue agradable. Bajó y después descansé la, la conciencia en, en, en el área abdominal. Y después otra vez sucedió. Pero la segunda vez cuando sucedió, como que mi conciencia me quedó aquí, en el pecho. Y después sentí como, como si hubiera entrado, como en esta zona, hace como un una dolor muy fuerte. Y, o sea, como me relajé, respiré. Y ya después eh, se fue a, a, a otra vez aquí, ya fue como. Eh, tranquilo, pero la sensación del, o sea, como el dolor eh, volvía a hacer como a trabajar con la energía subida y este, la conciencia y volvía a sentir el dolor y entonces ya no lo quise sentir no, entonces es muy posible en brief so, was working with the energy and I was able to feel my uh, pelvic floor and then it came up and suddenly it came really softly up to my heart. It was a pleasant experience. I get it down into my abdomen, but a second time came up and then it, I, I felt a pain in my chest and I kept pushing it down uh, because it really hurt. Um, uh, yeah, that's the short. Okay. Um, yeah. That, that, so uh, the, the the main the, for the for this for this session we were just to sort of you know to touch the pelvic floor and say oh okay is there anything happening there? Este para esta sesión era así este tocar el piso pélvico y ver si algo estaba pasando. Okay. Now that the energy came up, fine. El que la energía suba así está bien. Okay, and so you have to think of like there's this roadway, and so the energy sort of gets, you know, you you, you touch it and it goes, ooh, and then it starts bubbling up, you know, it comes up 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 a roadway. Este, entonces piensa que la energía está como en una carretera, entonces toca y uno empieza a burbujear hacia arriba sobre ese camino. No, that it came up to your heart, just fine. I guess there was a, there's no 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 uh, casetas. Este, el que subiera hasta el corazón está bien, no no había ninguna caseta de peaje. You no, know, total, total, say total, 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 okay, <laughs> for Chris, okay, but but and so that happened, and then you get you brought it down. So so like the the roadway starts saying, okay, there, there, there's a roadway here, yes. Entonces se ve okay, sí, aquí hay una carretera, mire. But uh, on the second time when it came up and then it branched out. En la segunda parte, cuando, cuando sube y se extiende. Okay, there was topes. Y hay topes. Now, what those topes are, whether there's something from your history emotionally, or maybe it's even just the nerves, you know, that they're, they're, they're like I say, dry, crooked, or blocked. Entonces, el que está en sus topes ahí puede ser, este, porque, por tu historia emocional, o porque alguien se me hace quedar en esta situación, al de los nervios, o lo que sea. Okay, so uh, I mean, so it, you know, in, in this case, it, you you were sort of experimenting. I would think. I mean, it would happen, but you sort of let it happen. Este, esta, entonces pasó. Estabas como experimentando que esto para que pasó, lo dejaste que pasara. So, so that uh, in, in the future, I'd say try to keep it in your abdomen area because it seems that's a little bit like you, you, maybe your chakra is a little bit better there. Este, en el futuro trata de bajar but uh you know what you experience is is, is, is a direct you know it's a, a sign of they say the, the the nerves block crooked or dry crooked blocked okay now uh, so how do you deal with that well or smoothly so, so if you wanted to, you know, I mean, if you if you just did mindfulness of you in your heart area, yeah, without putting extra gasoline from the pelvic floor, and you, you sort of like you you try to breathe and like totally consciousness 
like smooths out and takes away the toe base, takes away the blocks. Like, and as you do that with your breathing. Entonces, lo que haces es con tu respiración, ahí suavemente este, respiras y re regresa, o sea, con tu conciencia, tu respiración en el aire de tu corazón, muy suavemente respirar. So, so it's like that you, you remove the toe base, the blockages and things, like smoothly. Este vas removiendo entonces los topes, los bloqueos que pueden estar ahí, pero muy suavemente. Okay, uh, you know, so that you, you if, the, if it becomes a, you know, a regular thing that it's always this pain there, then, then definitely, you know, don't put, like I say, you don't put gasoline on it from the pelvic floor, you know, as, as much as you can. Este, si esto sigue, continúa hacia el dolor, este, eh, hay porque, es porque hay un bloqueo, entonces no, no le sigues poniendo gasolina, subiendo la energía del piso pélvico. But uh, the warm, fuzzy feelings, whether it's in your abdomen or in your heart area, are what's so giving lubricant to the nerves. Okay? And then, you know, see, I know this is where the scanning meditations also work. Because it's like you're combing the nerves by scanning them you know, smoothly and softly. Uh, I think I shared with you, like, I mean, I had eight years worth of pain in my stomach because the nerves just weren't ready. They were blocked, dried, and lots of topes. <laughs> okay. Now, if you don't need to, you don't, let's say, if your stomach abdomen area feels fine and, and you can have the warm fuzzies there, then don't worry about your heart at this point. Just carry on with that meditation. Este, y si... Tienes esta sensación calentita, cómoda en tu estómago, no te, no te preocupes, este, regresa ahí, no tienes por qué preocuparte en la zona de tu corazón. And, and you can think of like the, the pelvic floor is like the gas pedal, you give a little bit more gas, but that's, you, you make those decisions. Este, y puedes pensar que tu piso pélvico es como el pedal de la gasolina, ¿no? Picas un poquito más, hay más gasolina, pero tú tienes que ir viendo cuando tú, tú tomas las decisiones. Okay, so it's actually 11, so we'll break now. Oh, okay, so one thing, uh, like not, not that we've done that much, that, that much, it uh, meant that much of the, 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 the points. But, but when, when you do a lot of this abdomen meditation like that, especially using your, no, you're doing the acupuncture sort of stimulation. Then, you know, you, you have to, you have to you know, get your energy all through the rest of your body because you put, put a lot of energy there. I think in, in Qigong and such, they, they, you know, they, they, you bounce on your heels and you, you shake. And then, and then you, you hit on the outer part of your arm and back up the inside part. I mean, just basically you want to get the energy back into your body. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um, if you, if you know, when you're having your coffee, you can do that if you want to. I mean, it's your own choice. Okay, see you at 11.30. Remember, we're in silence. Okay.